Even door. A deep three. You've seen that before. Salvation Army, I met uh, Marette Seymour um, at the turnaround jumpers, I think it may be, I don't know, two, three years ago. Um, but we kind of just, you know, started our relationship right there, going back and forth about, um, you know, different events and, and, and different things that we want to do in the community. Um, so, you know, it started little, but then throughout the community, a lot of people started to, you know, gather around and help out. So, um, you know, from, from then on out, uh, it just kind of took off and we've been doing things ever since. For me, it's the kids, you know, just being able to see them and because I know, you know, growing up, you want to have a good childhood, you want to have fun. You don't want to be in situations that you're not supposed to be in until you're an adult, really. You don't want to be stressed out. As a kid, growing up, you're supposed to have fun and, and you know, play with your friends. And so, you know, when I do the clinics and, and you, know, you know, some of the shoe drives, and, and, and clothes drive, you, you know, you see the kids there just having fun and, and smiling and, and they're able to get out of that, you know, negative environment for just a couple hours a day. But, you know, even that couple hours is a difference, you know, in their lives and they can, you know, possibly start, you know, um, you know, to build their confidence up and, and, you know, start being positive about, you know, living life. You know, if you spend a few minutes with them, you immediately like him. Uh, his, his passion, his energy, uh, you know, he's genuine. He is who he is, and he's unapologetic for it, and I've always loved that about him. Uh, I think Eric is the, you know, the face of a younger generation of ours coming from our basketball program that our guys look up to, that local kids look up to, who's kind of seen everything and been through it. Some tough times and now some highs, some lows, um, but someone that continues to fight and, and, and does it with a voice. Um, and, and somebody that is just beginning to grow and mature into what he's going to ultimately become, which is a great man. He uh, had his ups and downs, but what he did was he fought through everything and obviously it humbled him to the person that he is today. And um, that's, I, you know, having that experience can help some of these young men out tr uh, tremendously. He can talk about his lows and help anybody at their lows and also, too, he can help anybody at their highs and be able to help them balance life well, yeah well i've been through you know i've been through stuff obviously like everybody else um mistakes made up and down losses nothing like traumatic where i'm gonna say i can't come back from it because i know it's you know a lot of people have been through stuff worse than me but 10 times a hard times worse than me but for me i know just being able to uh, help others and, and, and reach out reach out to other people is, is big to me um you know i you know i've been through a lot and, and to be able to give back is uh i think what i'm supposed to do